gamers. How's it going? I have some time off from work, so I'm playing Dusk. I figured since I'm not going to be on that often this week, let's stream it. difficulty that I'm used to too, so interested in seeing how this plays out. Good or bad. It's so into shooters lately. I had like a phase recently when all I was playing was like Doom and Dusk and uh, Quake. And I think I'm back in the Zone again. Like everything, else, everything that feels like this. Sounds a little low. Let me turn that up. One second. Yeah, this game is very, very loud. Let's see if maybe my audio options changed. Also, I'm not yelling like a madman. Let me see here. Turn this down a little bit more. Tell me if this is better. Hello, gamers! Funny because there's a lot of controversy around this game with like um, people people who played like Quake and Doom. They call them like old school shooter gamers. They're really they're really pissy about this game because they say it doesn't feel like it should. It's like it's more of an homage than every than anything. But I mean, people are just comparing it to what inspired it. It's not supposed to feel like those games at all. I don't know what issue these people have with this game. It's very good. I fall into that category. I used to play Quake and, and Doom and everything when it came out. This game does that, like, feel very well. Like, that sort of uh, visceral, speedy fucking action. It's perfect. Although I don't need to sing this game's praises. This game is 
it speaks for itself. I mean, it has like, I think near, oh shit! Near universally positive reviews. I guess they do, but do they really want a carbon copy? This is cool as hell, watch this. I know. That's the funny thing to think about. Like, I, Quake is really the the first game that revolutionized quick combat in these games. Doom is very slow by comparison. I mean, you know, people speedrunner and everything. And with improved versions of Doom itself, you could move a lot faster and you feel a lot more free. But it's very constraining. I've been watching a lot of videos about like the. I think I mentioned this before, about the evolution of uh, the FPS genre like throughout the 90s, like from Wolfenstein through... Uh, I've gotten up to Quake, and it's really crazy to see. Those games completely changed the market. It's... it's really shocking. I mean, even seeing the comparison, there's like, um, there's some demo, like a 3D, like, polygon-based demo that somebody had made on, uh, DOS. I, I think it was DOS. I might be wrong. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, no, not that fucking buff. Please, no. Oh, great. I don't want that. Um, but it was like, the first... Or one of the first, like, commercially released or, or commercial demos of what 3D could do on a Windows system. And it was a far cry. Like, it was insane how much better Quake looked when it came out. Like, they took that framework and they multiplied it so much. It was it was insane that they could come up with it. Even with the issues that Quake had, because I know there, was, there were a lot of issues between people on the inside. Like, they canceled a lot of shit. Oh yeah, Unreal as well. Unreal's another game I have to get back into. I, I played Unreal briefly when I bought it on Steam. But Unreal was never uh, Unreal was never a game I I got too deep into. I've always wanted to. I've always gravitated back towards like uh, Doom and Quake and their sequels. And Unreal was always like on the fringes. Like I remember my dad playing it. And him showing it to me, and I was fucking blown away, like, how how different it looked compared to everything. Like, the fucking... How, how, what leaps it took technologically. It was insane. Especially for that time. That was really crazy. It was Unreal. Unreal was, like, 2001? 2000? Oh, hell yeah. This, this will help. There's any more secrets in here. This kind of secret. I think that's it. I don't think there's any other secrets in here. What are we waiting for? Oh, we have all the keys. Oh, oh, there's a. I think there's a red door at the end. I think that's what we're waiting for. Yeah, let's see. 
How far? No! <laughs> I did a quick save. Alright, we're gonna zoom past this this time. I've got this unlock, baby. Unreal was 98? No way! You don't think you have Unreal 2? Holy shit! Alright, now that's a fucking technology screen for sure. Like five, five or so years. I love video games. I love video games. Was I here already? I don't think I was. I was before. I'm trying to remember where, where the save started. I guess we'll figure it out. I'm getting assaulted by fucking everybody. Oh yeah. Man, I love it when enemies fight each other in these games. It's fantastic. I think I said I've also said this before, so this should happen in every shooter. Just friendly fire. Friendly fire always. Almighty. You fucking miss one, you're dead. the projectiles are physical things instead of just hit scan. Yeah, this this is actually a clone of blue. Oh yeah, there's the red door. That's what that's that's where we needed to go. We're so close! This fucking guy is looking at me. Anything in here was I in here? Country song? Yes. I've also heard that it's off the charts now. For some unknown reason. I guess the uh, the country community couldn't stomach the fact that their uh, formula could be so easily plundered by anybody. And made more relevant than their current music? Oh shit. Climbing gear somewhere around here. I need to get up there. Oh, it's up there. We can get up there. Let's get up there. Get up. I 
tried playing the multiplayer in this and it's insane. Like, I'm used to people being crazy good at games, but this is something else. It's like more manic than Quake 3 multiplayer. It's insanity. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the country community, man. You'd think they'd be happy, like, this guy was making their shit relevant. It's a catchy song, too. I heard it on a hip-hop station. I was like, what the fuck? Like, is this a meme? But it was actually pretty catchy. I, I despise country. It's way easier. I'm such a conservative when it comes to ammo. I don't like to waste anything if I think I can take them out otherwise. Wahoo! No, no, this is not the 666 stream. This is an impromptu, unplanned, sporadic stream. How much damage are those? Never again. I never use those. I wonder if there's an achievement for getting through this game with just the sickles. Probably is. People are masochists. There though, I wonder if that. Uh, actually, I'm at 100 health. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I have these guys to deal with. Giant characters. Ah! Bit faster on this mode. Seems like they're wrong though. That could just be bad. got a secret. Maybe that was the last time. Wahoo. Yeah, I guess that's true. Although, with SoundCloud rap, it also makes sense that most of it was garbage. I guess I would fall into that category. That's it? That's all I get? A rib cage and a pack of pack of chewing gum? Fuck you. Fuck you? Okay. Oh wow. That was a total accident. Not one secret last time, but I was too lazy to try again. I don't even know what it was. I think it's when I went in that tower. Blood's so good. I gotta play through blood again, but it's infuriating. Like, it's so fucking hard. And there's no point in playing it on easy, because who wants to do that? This level, this like, chapter of this game is so fucking cool. Yellow key card. Where do I go? I don't have red. Where does gamer go? Can I get in here? Do I have to break this? I'm afraid. No, I don't want to get hit with damage. Oh, I guess I can't go in there. Or is there a way to go around? Oh, 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 that was just that. Because of the spiral. Looks like there's more. 
Has to be down there. I think it. So I don't have that key card. Where do where do we go? This doesn't open. Oh wow! How did I miss that? It's right fucking there. Here we go. This is not good. Here we go. Secret? Oh. Secret. There we go. Nice little secret. Yellow. This reminds me of this one level in Doom 3, where it's just quiet the entire time. You can see like imps walking on the outside of the Mars, uh, the Mars base. And then out of nowhere you get attacked, and that's when shit goes down. Fuck! What is this level? I don't remember this one. Oh wait, I think I remember it now. I know what the big scare is supposed to be, but I won't spoil it for you. that with the rail gun or is it the grenade launcher I want that oh shit oh, here we go there's access another seeker for me welcome Panda you will get spooked I did did you get spooked oh Was stupid as fuck. That was so stupid. Play in here already? Get some morale. What is this thing? Dusk is a copy at all. I think it stands on its own. But it is a copy of Bloom, I will agree with you there. I think it's pretty fucked up that the devs had the uh, knowledge that Bloom was coming out and, like, you know what, we could do this. We'll do it with less graphics so we can get it out faster. A real bummer that that happens in the industry. Oh! Don't tell me I have to start over. Okay, good. Difficulty's tough. But once I get my super shotgun, baby, forget about it. It's over after that. I'm with these right now. These are baby toys. Super shotguns where it's at. See this man. <laughs> Here we go. I should have done that. Last Halloween stream wasn't cursed enough though to, to marry the 666. Maybe I'll just stop streaming until Halloween so the 666 can line up. I think that's only fair. I 
don't think anybody would begrudge me such a decision. Oh wait, I was already there. Pick these bags up though. Barrel fell over, I wouldn't have known. I would have no idea. This is a trap. Get attacked as soon as I pick this up. Yep. The most fucking annoying enemy. It's poetic justice right there. one is that you're not talking about bloom are you you better not be talking about bloom how do i get up there what am i missing here did i not kill somebody is there a fucking oh no it's on the ladder of course Oh, do you mean strafe? Strafe is... Mm. He's a lot to be desired, I think. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Oh fuck! I think I talked on uh, about Scrape recently, if that's what you if that's what you meant. That was um that game <laughs> I don't know what the intention behind that game was. Oh doomed That indie game? That had like sort of red it had like a retro filter over 3D graphics. I haven't played that one, but I I heard some people complaining. Like I read some people complain because it was uh some puzzles were tricky to figure out because they weren't very they weren't explained very well but then the dev was like well in the 90s you have to figure shit out on your own which I don't think is really an argument it just comes down to you didn't explain this mechanic very well you shouldn't expect everybody to play like the 90s things are different now Exit. 
think I'd see these guys again. That that flying like that searching projectile probably got me. This sneaky little shit! Alright, just kill me. That's, that's too much help. That's true. I don't know, man. Hold on, I'm looking at things. <laughs> One second. I think, I think Japanese games are on a different level of cryptic, though. Especially when there's puzzles and like horror games or like Zelda. There's just certain shit that they expect you to figure out. Maybe it was lost in translation. Something. But I feel like in this day and age, if you're trying to replicate um, a game or like a gaming trend from a certain bygone era of gaming, your best bet is to, like, if you want to lull people into, you want to lull people into it. Oh my god, this is fucking insane. fucking die. Hold on, I'll finish that thought in a second. This is just very intense. trying to lull somebody into um, a certain genre that no longer exists or like a certain playstyle that no longer exists. It's better to use a soft touch, like introduce the mechanics the same way, but with, um, or introduce the mechanics but use a modernized approach so it doesn't, you know, it's not like you just pick them up out of what they were used to and inserted them into an era that you're into a way of playing that you're used to. You gotta kinda use baby steps, I feel. Because unfortunately, whether the developer likes it or not, um, that era no longer exists. Like, the, things aren't played the same as they used to be. The same rules don't apply because everything's evolved. I think the best approach is not to totally emulate. Oh my fuck, are you kidding me? But to slowly, piece by piece, kind of get there. How the fuck did I walk into that? Jump pads are just like death. 
Alright, how- what even hit me? What hit me that time? I don't even know. It's the lack of morale that's killing me. I gotta be sneaky on this one. I can't just run and gun. It's not a viable strategy right now. That was no morale. Probably this guy. I'm not paying attention to this Oh, him too. Welcome here. I've seen that game doomed though a couple times. Like I've seen it suggested to me. And I think I have a wish listed. And it's been on sale a couple of times. I should check it out. See what the deal is. If people have legitimate complaints or if it's just people wanting to be coddled. I've seen that recently actually, like that like the coddling in fucking hypnospace where there's been- that game is awesome, by the way. I, I haven't spoken on it, um, other than on Twitch, or, or on Twitch, on, on Twitter and Discord. But right now, I think my game of the year of 2019 so far is Hypnospace Outlaw. It's very, very good. Very fun to play. And very nostalgic. I think that's part of where it gets a good score for me, though, is nostalgia. Just because I was a, a big proponent of AOL back in the day and like all those goofy websites but um I, I remember it had like a perfect score and there's always there's always like somebody who's gonna fuck it up and usually it's like you know you can't give it a perfect score for certain reasons like you know this feature wasn't perfect so you can't give it a perfect score everybody has their own grading system but people legitimately like gave it a bad score because they couldn't figure shit out and there's a hint system, like, it's it's supposed to be, essentially, like, a point-and-click, um, adventure game. Like, it, it's the most like those types of games. Like, think of Papers, Please, and a point, the logic of point-and-click adventure games. Like, you're supposed to figure things out on your own, you're supposed to search around, you're supposed to gather clues, but it's way more intuitive than that. Like, you can go to sites and just figure shit out on your own. It's, um... It's not that difficult. I feel like there, there's a hints tab and everything. Like you, you can search for hints, but you can figure it out on your own. Like um, unless, I don't know. I don't, unless you think differently than most people, I have no fucking idea how you would be confused to the point of leaving a negative review. It's pretty straightforward. And I think the game's pretty easy too. But uh, what was my original point? Oh, as far as you know gamers being coddled. I feel like that's the perfect example. Like people leaving a bad review because they're the one out of 100 people who didn't figure something out. It's like just try a little longer before you you fucking say that the whole game sucks. That you hated the game because you couldn't figure out a single puzzle. You know what was a really like I would love for one of these people to play Evidence. That was a fucking hard game. If you want to talk about not knowing what to do and spending hours trying to figure out what the fuck you're doing, Evidence was the game. It no longer functions because it was all... Uh, they had actual websites designed for the game itself. Like, you would you would play... Oh, look at this. You would play a... Um, oh, my God, that was bad. A detective who was trying to solve a, a murder case uh, of this one serial killer that sent in a CD to the police with clues on how to catch him, essentially. Or how to find the next victim. Something to that effect. It's been a long time since I've seen it. And you have to solve each puzzle. There are websites designed. You have to search actual Google and around the internet to find clues to these puzzles to solve them. There's no... There, are, there were walkthroughs and everything, but what's the fun of that? But it is so fucking hard. They are very hard puzzles. And some of them feel like they defy logic, like you have to think a certain way in order to solve them. That I could see complaining about because of the difficulty term. But if you're getting that game to begin with, you're, you're looking for difficulty. 
I would love to see one of these people try to solve that game. It, it would be hilarious. I never passed that game, and I still regret it to this day. Because I... Oh, shit. This thing so Because now I'll never be able to. It's It sucks that they didn't think of a... A new way to implement the websites in, in that game so that they would be preserved. I, I wanted to play that game on stream, I remember. And I had to... I had it all set up, and then I fired it up, and it didn't work. And I thought it was a, a problem with my VM, but it, it was just because none of the websites exist anymore. Real bummer. It was dope. It was it was really cool. The killer would like taunt you. You would you would enter an actual email to be contacted on. All the case information would be sent there. Oh fuck. And um. Sometimes the killer would would uh, would taunt you, and, like, threaten you, and send you snide remarks. Or if you hadn't uh, done anything on like regarding the case, the other people that were supposedly on the case would say, "Hey, like, are you okay? You, you can't figure this out. Well, think of it this way." And they would send you like little snippets of clues into your email. It was a very very cool idea. I just wish it were preserved. I I wish there were some way. For that game to still exist today, I would have loved to play that on stream because I I didn't remember I, I had a notebook for all the solutions that I had figured out, and I would seriously spend hours upon hours trying like agonizing over them because I'm not the type of person who likes uh, to look things up. I like doing everything legit. I'm gonna die. This is this is a very bad place. This is a very bad place. Oh my lord! This is a very fucking bad place. Too much. Woo! Let me scroll back here. Well, the thing about Mist was you're you're kind of supposed to write things down. That was that was the novelty of. Um, of puzzle games back in the day is you had to they're puzzles you're supposed to work them out nowadays everything's on screen and that's cool too it's cool that there's like organization tools um to keep everything on track and to point things out to you but that kind of kills some of the difficulty at the same time you, you're not actively working on the thing if you know if, if you're not taking notes and paying attention to yourself it's like you, you, you want the game to tell you what the fucking solution is it defeats the purpose, I feel. I, you know, everyone has their own perspective on it, but that's that's my personal perspective. You're you're buying a puzzle game. You're supposed to be challenged. I, I refuse to look up solutions. I just I just don't. Why did I pay for it? Then? You know what I mean? That's my grape. That's my old school gamer grape. These things are so hard to hit with a fucking mortar. Oh my lord. Okay, never mind. He, wa he walked into a stray grenade. Never mind. He's not that hard to hit. I like the I like the way that Mist was. Mist was really fucking hard though. At least for me, because I, I played it when I was a child. I, I think the last time I played it, I was like 14. And I had played it several times before then, when I was an actual kid. guys with the flamethrowers are hard as hell. They're, they just relentlessly shoot at you. It's so hard to pay attention with so many projectiles. It's crazy. Where is the quest marker? Where are my notes? Like, there's legitimate games now that exist, like puzzle games, where they write shit down. Like, this, like... I remember, uh, this is, this is a poor example, but I remember when I was playing Bioshock 2 compared to Bioshock 1, and when you would find a code, they would write it on the side for you. And it's like, 
what's the point of the code then? <laughs> I'm supposed to remember. I know it's annoying. You want everything kind of at your fingertips, and I get that, but it's like that's kind of part of the appeal at the same time. I, I kind of, I kind of dig it. Wait, this was the red door. Where the fuck am I going now? Maybe there's another red door out here. Additional red door. Red door. Oh yeah, it, it was absolutely made for adults. It was pretty dark. I remember when uh, when I was playing it, I my, my dad kept notes. Like, he kept notes, I remember, for the piano puzzle. He was trying to figure it out. It was like a piano puzzle that would take you... Um, I think it was... Was it a blimp? I don't remember what it was. It was some sort... Or like a water tower? I forget. It's been a long time since I've seen Mist. It was a certain puzzle that you had to play a tune to in a certain order in order to make it to a different world. I don't remember if that was what took you there, uh, but there was like a, a level where you were in a, I think you were in a pirate ship? You were in a ship or something? It was some water-based level. And I opened a guy's drawer and there were like needles, like morphine needles, like huge fucking needles. I remember it freaked me the fuck out as a kid. Oh wait, I don't know where to go. I remember this part. Maintenance tunnel. Where's the door for? Where's the little switch for it? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Puzzle really, really threw me, man. I'm so biased about Bioshock Infinite, though. I love that game. I know, I know its flaws. Oh shit! This okay. Wait, wait, wait. Am I going the right way? Am I supposed to be going this way? Oh shit! This next level is insane. This next level is crazy. Ready? for this level. You've never seen so much meat. Yeah, I, th I think an in-game note system is, is a fine idea. We're in the meat zone now. I remember, um... Played one of the Zero Escape games. I think it was the second one. They had a note writing system that was so fucking useful compared to the first one. The first one you had to work everything out on a notepad, and I didn't mind it because I like puzzle games. But after this, the convenience of the second one. Yes. yes. I don't mind implementations for the sake of convenience. Just don't solve the thing for me. Or if I have to remember something, let me remember it. Don't just don't just throw it on there. Unless it's insanely fucking difficult to remember. That's that's a different story. I still have to play the Thief series as well. It's a surprise how many games I've ever played. I was I wasn't allowed for so long. After my mom saw Columbine, she was like, no, this is going to make you a killer. <laughs> she thought Dark Forces was going to make me a killer. It was, it was something else. I love my mother. She thought killing Stormtroopers was going to be a slippery slope. Bless her soul. Space? Fucking get out of here. Shotgun. I 
hope I get the super shotgun this time. These things are so much easier to dispatch. With a shoddy. With a shoddy that is very effective. Yeah, I like that too. I, I like when you discover things on your own. I had I there's still so many things that I don't know that you can do in games or that I, I like read about or found out through trying out on my own. I think trying things out on your own is way more fun in games. When a game is very open ended, it has several solutions to a problem, and you discover ones that you never thought were even on the table. Like the telekinesis trick, for example. Like I I never had any idea that uh, telekinesis worked well. This is just something I do not use in Pilotjack. I probably should. It would probably make the game so much easier. Especially with that playthrough I was trying. By the way, I was robbed in that game. That game has achievements for passing it on the highest difficulty. I've passed it on the highest difficulty without dying twice. And it hasn't given me the achievement because it's glitched. I'm very upset about this. I really wanted that achievement. I wanted to know I was good. Traps like this always make me nervous in games. Makes me feel like I'm actually gonna be crushed. Spiritual successor to Mist? I think I know which game you're talking about, actually. I don't remember the name, but I remember um, seeing it. I think I wishlisted it at one point, but God, God knows it's on that fuzzy wishlist now. The thing is a mess. I don't even know what I wanted it for. <laughs> let's, let's let that take care of business. We'll, we'll take the scraps. No, never mind. There are no scraps. It's all meat, everybody. Delicious meat. Delicious, nutritious meat, man. Puppets. Is there... Oh. Wait, what? Where's there a hole? Where's there one? Oh, 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 I know. Oh, oh! No, no shooting, no shooting. No! <laughs> no! Ah! No! Not into the meat! you're shooting fire you son of a bitch fireman ever oh my lord there's one in the fucking middle now i don't know how i dodged that one hit but for sure he had me you can do that really i had no idea it doesn't surprise me that's, that that's a feature in this game. You could also drink beer, but it makes you extremely disoriented after a while. The drunk in this game is insane. It, it hurts. It hurts my eyes. It actually makes me dizzy. Does a heat ball go through a little grated fence? I guess it burned through.
Look at this fucking design. Jesus Christ, it's so cool! It's cool! This game is an homage to Quake. It's not the same thing, and you shouldn't like it. Funny to me that in Bloom, the the hunting rifle is like instant. <laughs> it's so stupid, like unnecessarily stupid. Kind of reminds me. There's a, a level in Blood where you're like going through the human body, you're being digested. I think you're you're in an, like a giant being or something. I forget. And you're being like digested. It's very creepy. Where's the blue key? I actually thought as a kid that level was really cool because it was really squishy and disgusting and it made you feel like you were actually getting digested. It was it was very scary. Where where's the fucking how do I get down here? Where's where's the ladder? I know there's a ladder so I think anyway. There should be. Ladder? Am I crazy? Am I losing my mind? like that Cloud City scene where Luke fights the Darth Vader. Yes, I, there's a couple of companies named Snoozy that do all do various things, but for some reason they're like somehow they're they're always tied back to a baby. I think I think one of them is like a baby company or something that makes like bibs. How does this door open? I remember I had trouble figuring this out in the beginning as well. Maybe it's at the top of the last spot. Huh. How do you know so much about war enthusiasts? Dak, I'm worried about you.
reminds me of the uh, cellophane fetish that for some reason came up while I was... Oh, I, know, I remember why it came up. Because I was making fun of uh, a manga by the creators of, of Death Note. Or, or one of the creators of Death Note. No, no, both of them. Both of them were important. I have never seen that. Let me see what that is. one scene fuck I think I think the manga is called Platinum End it's awful I think it's popular in Japan and I'm just still trying to figure out why but it's essentially Death Note but not good Death Note but the main character is a pussy who wanted to kill himself like he's just a bitch the entire time I, I from what I read I, that's what I remember that's what rings true to me uh, anyway, there was a scene where with the fucking main antagonist, like his entire reason for being a bad guy is because he wants to bring his sister back from the dead or something? Spoiler alert, but don't worry, you're not missing anything. That's not really a main plot point. There's, I'm sure there's more than that. that. I stopped reading at this. And she's like, the image of her is frozen in carbonite. Like, no shit. That's, that's the image. Here, I'll, I'll find it for you. She's frozen in carbonite. <laughs> I've, I've shown this before, but I, I really want to show you again. Uh... <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. It's the absolute... Oh, fuck, I have to find the actual page. Hold on. I wonder if this is going to get an anime, because it'll be even worse. Oh my god, how many chapters are there now? Holy shit! This is crazy! Oh yeah, that, well, before I show you this, that's that's essentially where, where we, start, we started talking about uh, people being wrapped up and sold as like discount meat in cellophane. And it was a joke. Man, this is so fucking boring. I don't even remember where the fuck this start begins or ends. Stupid fucking thing, man. No, it's not this one. I don't remember a pregnant woman being attacked. I don't remember that one. I guess you scroll down. Okay. Oh, Lord. Let me see your fucking f f carbonite sister. Come on, dude. Let me see that shit. I'm sorry, I'm gonna find this. I promise you it's worth it, because it really is just a woman in carbonite. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so fucking dumb, man. This is what made me stop reading it. And I was already like, this sucks. I just wanted to see how far it would go. I don't even know if this is the chapter. Let me zoom this shit out. I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to take too long here. This is very boring. Hearing a man zoom through pages of a manga he hates. It's not good. Yeah. Their their entire system of, of writing manga now is... It's so outdated. And so many good series get fucked as a result. It's a bummer, man. I did not last eight chapters. There's no way in hell I lasted that long. There's no way in hell I lasted that long. Um, just their like entire cancellation of shit is, is so stupid. They really need to change that. 
they need to get with times. Japan is behind on so many things. It just needs to restructure that facet of um, manga and anime because so many, so many things go down the fucking drain. Like, imagine if they just they didn't publish everything weekly, like most of the series, or they gave their artists a break so they could actually recoup and plan for better ideas. It would be so much better. Life would be so much better. You'd have you'd have series that didn't go down the shitter. Like how Yu Yu Hakusho has a terrible ending. That was all because the the artist, the creator of it was so stressed out. He just wanted to get rid of it. Oh, I found it. Here we go. Fuck. Let me, let me fucking zoom in on it. What are you doing? Hold on a sec. Of course I lost it again. No, he's got to go home to his frozen sister. Here we go. <laughs> this, this is so stupid, man. <laughs> Wait until you see this. <laughs> this is so fucking dumb. <laughs> oh god. All right, check this out. Show you this snippet. Exactly. Their work ethic is so insane. Like you can't you can't you can't force somebody there, okay, there's always going to be somebody who's a genius and somebody who's fantastic at their craft, okay? They're just a natural at it, and they're going to be so good no matter what you put them through. And pressure will make them better. But that's not most people. And when you apply pressure to a series that is extremely popular because, of the, because it's story-based and because of the art, eventually that's going to run out with most people. It's it's just not a viable option to keep applying pressure uh, and expecting the quality to remain intact. It's it's just not going to happen. And there's been so many cases, like, I, I think the same thing happened with Bleach, if I remember correctly. The guy was just fucking sick of it because he just didn't, he didn't want to do it week to week. I could be wrong, though. That might be a bad example, so don't, quote, you know, don't take this as, as fact. But I think I remember watching or reading something about it. <laughs> do, do I see patties? She might have a penis under there. Maybe that's why he froze her. So she's not ideal for me yet. I want to take care of that thing. And then, maybe once the technology is caught up. Maybe he was hoping the freezing would help. Where the fuck is the blue door?! I have the same problem. This is the one level where I can't figure out where it is. And how poetic. After I have that whole spiel about not uh, not being told things. And I don't mind that I can't find it. Just, I don't fucking know. I must have missed it or something. There wasn't a blue door at the beginning. I've just been backtracking this fucking area. Like, no joke, the exact same thing happened to me before. Same level, same key, and I can't- I can't remember what I did. Let's try again. Let's, let's try backtracking again. Because logic would dictate that there's supposed to be something here, because this is where we found the blue key. Oh my god, he said the opposite? He wanted to keep Bleach going? Jesus Christ, but it's art and Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure, like, his art was suffering like crazy. He started out that manga, and the art was incredible. Like, he had backgrounds. You could see he put a lot of effort into making everybody look animated and real. And then all of a sudden, like, past a certain point, past a certain arc, he just said, fuck it. It all stopped. He started, like, doing less and less backgrounds. He started putting people in, like, Dragon Ball Z-esque areas where they were just empty and devoid of life. So they were easier to draw. Fuck, man, why can't I find this place? I'm, I'm losing my mind here. Oh, I know. The, don't, don't even get me started on the anime industry. 
manga's bad enough. <laughs> I, it's... Oh, how did I fucking pass this? I'm, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, it, the entire structure of it is is how it was decades upon decades ago. And their culture is structured in such a way that they just... It just persists. Because no one dare... No one dare change anything. You know? They're a very traditionalist uh, nation. They, they like... They like things how they are. And keeping them simple. I don't think it'll ever change unless, like, some fucking fabric comes along. Or there's, like, a different, uh, sort of focal If there's- if there's competition to the current practice, then I think it'll definitely happen. But I don't- I don't see that happening anytime soon. They're too set in their ways, and that's too- too much of a staple. By the way, fucking hell yeah, I got the super shotgun. I'm so happy about this. Forgot these enemies existed. The goats. Oh man, those aren't goats, those are cows. I'm gonna call them goats. Maybe it was the inverse, I'm not sure. I just, I remember watching or reading something that he just didn't give a shit. Because you can see it in his art, I mean, there's such, like, read the first chapter of Bleach and then go to, like, one of the later chapters and look at the difference in, in um, environmental growing. It's fucking night and day. I mean, that could be attributed to fatigue as well. Like, he was just, you know, he didn't have the same drive or fervor as he did when he was first uh, introduced. Because you get sick of things after a time, or you get you acclimated. When, the problem is when you make it a job is you get acclimated to a certain uh, formula. And then once you figure out the formula to do as little work as possible with the maximum amount of return, you stick to that because who the hell wants to do the maximum amount of work if you can do less and achieve the same result. And I think he's a victim of that, probably. Which is sad. It's always sad when that happens in art. Because it's a medium that demands that you're just always trying and always innovating. Always doing your best because you're supposed to innovate. I think it's entirely possible that he was just talking it up, though, if he did say that. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna keep this going forever. Buy the magazine, guys! Oh, shit, did they really? I had no idea. I know that there were certain Kickstarters um, that were put together for certain series that people wanted to see. But I had no idea that studios themselves were going on there. That's pretty, that's pretty dope. That, that's a good sign for things to come. I think a shift to the fans funding their own media that they want to see is a, a very good idea. As opposed to just getting what you get. Wahoo! Almost all secrets, I should have gotten them all. Oh shit. Were they really? <laughs> that's a bummer. See, that's what sucks, is that he he would have to continue doing it because it's probably under contract. Shonen Jump owns the property, and they probably wouldn't publish him again if he didn't continue because of how popular he was. What is this? This is Dust. It's a very cool game. I somehow got on the topic of manga. I never remember, I never remember how I get these topics. God, I love this gun. Shotgun's the best gun in most games, man. This, Quake, Doom, Serious Sam. Man, I'm 
take people out all day in Zero the Sam using only the shotgun. That shit rules. You could have your cannonball. I don't I don't fuck with that. Shotgun all day. Oh, I shouldn't be using it. It's a sparing. Oh my lord. Woo! That was really close. Woo! That could have been bad. to the abyss. Let's find the beach again. That was a magical moment, man. Go I've on, uh, take it. I had no idea that would happen. Lord Almighty, do I do Go on, take it. Taste the power. Holy fucking hell. Go on, take it. Taste the power. <laughs> I don't quite know how to use this power as well. Such a running gun guy. It's almost like... It's almost like infinite max pain. Oh yeah, or super hot, if that's true. Speaking of super hot, this is a game that's like that. I, I mentioned it on Twitter. It was very cool. I, I wish it had a single player mode though. It's, it's like these challenge rooms where you have to get through the level and stop time and get the coolest kills and you can record yourself doing it. And it looks really cool. Uh, I played a bit of it. It plays very well. It has some, some physics issues. But it's early access, so they'll probably iron them out, hopefully. But I feel like it would benefit so much more from an actual campaign. It'd be way cool to play. It's called, like, Maximum... Shit, you know what, let me check what it's called. I'll look it up right now. Maximum. Maximum Action. Very fun game. And I think you can make your own levels in it too, which is a plus. Make your own courses. Pretty cool, man. Pretty dope. What did I open by, by doing that? Did it open? There's got to be a door somewhere around here. Man's evil now. Oh wait, this wasn't open before, was it? Nope. Wait, maybe it was? They say paging Dr. Freeman. I was about to say this is an homage or, or an homage to uh, Half Life. Makes sense now. Laughing. They all did. Oh shit, this is where this level gets very weird. Oh my lord. 
feel like I'm in a fucking dolly painting. so fast. There's like a certain way to do this. I don't know if this is the right way. Everything is so weird! It hurts my head. I'm turning back. I made everything evil. I've really been itching to play Rust again. I've been watching a lot of videos on it that people have made. They're so well edited, and it just makes me hungry for that game again. I think once GTA RP is over, once it's dead again, because it probably will be, I might go back to Rust. Mind fuck. Oh shit! Okay, good. I don't even know what to expect anymore. Everything's insane. This is don't. What happens if I do? I'm in the meat dimension. tribute to everything I'm not surprised. Fuck. Up here. Oh god, this this is annoying. But it must be done. Alright. But I remember this. It's not it's not nice. What have you done? I think I can just leave. Can I just leave? What happens if I just leave? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I just left. I left and it was okay. <laughs> I didn't realize I could do that. Oh shit! Alright. It's 
my alarm for it's time to go. I must work. Oh shit, this is such a good level. It's okay, we'll play this next time. Alright, I must depart. I must work again. Thank you for watching, everybody. I enjoyed your company. I hope you enjoyed the video game. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, I'll be back again. If I have any time in this week, I'll probably do impromptu streams like this, but I, I, I will definitely be back on Friday. I'll do more uh, RP and other things. Thank you for watching, gamers. It's a pleasure. Have a wonderful night. Is anyone streaming? Who else is streaming this? No, I only want you to watch me play this. Is there anyone streaming Dusk? Just me? Fuck! That's okay. Alright. I can't host anybody. Good night. Bye.